Hi, welcome to another section on Jmeter. Today we are going to discuss about how to analyze the result in Jmeter. So go for this session. If you like my section, please like and subscribe my channel. Coming to this section, we know our manager or lead ask after performing Jmeter, how is the result? How is the site performing? So we need to answer them with the, a good report. In Jmeter, there is two report we can use for this purpose. One is aggregate and another is summary. Here I taking a Jmeter project. Going to Jmeter, I here open a project which I have already tested or test using test group recorder. I already captured this session so I will add this in description so you can check it how to add or how to take the use the test recorder to capture this browser action so here I add two types of listeners by right clicking on thread group and add listener and aggregate report okay here already I added aggregate report one and and I going to add one more listener called summary report so I added the aggregate and summary report you can see in aggregate report you can see label some some labels in label and sample some column names are there we can go each each and each and one and what are they coming to the label it's it's the label name of the request that means here we have two requests that is launch site and find flight so this is the label launch site and this is the another request label so i will first of all i will run with some load here i added with the five producers producers means the virtual users five and ramp up of one second so in one second it will apply five usage load so we can check the result by running here you can see the report is generated so we can go each one each field label i already covered the launch site and fi find flight these are the name of the http request and coming to the samples here we apply five third group usage so it will hit five usage on each sample launch site five and find flight five five so it's five five each okay samples if here three samples are there then it will the sample name will be there and samples five so total 15 will be there here only two http request to so here only five five each sample total 10 coming to average time it is the average time taken by the samples okay here that means the ta average time taken to execute the request under a given level it is in milliseconds okay so out of five five samples each sample take each time right adding every time and divide by total number of samples so here five so it is the average time taken it is in millisecond so we need to convert into if you want to convert in second divide by thousand so it's take 6.53 seconds okay then the median median means median is basically the middle value of the response time so out of five there is a middle value is there so that one is the median okay so coming to the next field 90 percentage line means 90 percentage of the request will take this this much of time that means one zero six three six for the 
because loan side okay uh, for the fine fight it's 614 90 percentage that's 90 percentage of the request take this much time 614 milliseconds this is also in milliseconds 95 95 percentage line means 95 percentage of the request take this much time for the loan side this 10834 and the fine flight it takes 614 99 percentage line means 99 percentage of the request take this much of time is in millisecond 10834 and for fine flight it's 614 the min means the minimum time taken for the request to response so 457 is the it is in millisecond by the loan side the fine fight in 405 okay the maximum time means the maximum time taken for the request taken for to get the response for the loan side it's it is in 10834 it is in second milliseconds okay coming to the error percentage it is the percentage of error in the sample okay percentage of the error in the sample suppose if we we can see here launch side having 20 percentage of error and uh, fine, fine flight 100 percentage that means fully it's error okay coming to so suppose uh, it's uh, if it is zero percentage in it's it's give a good load 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 testing performance that means the site is scalable and if you are playing heavy load then it giving zero percentage of error then your site is scalable and no pro, no performance issue for your site here it is a test site so it's it's getting error when we apply only a five users five virtual users load okay coming to throughput it is the number of requests it can handle in second or minute here it is in minute suppose it if it is if we if the value is very high means it is very good that means it can handle that much of request per minute or second here only a 27.2 for the launch site and uh, 28.3 for the fine flight is very very low throughput um, compared to in minutes it's very very poor performance okay if you the throughput is very high then we can say it's having good performance suppose here i expecting 100 100 per minute or 200 per minute then you can say it's a very good performing site okay coming to throughput is already I discussed in geometry time throughput is amount of load applied on server or throughput as throughput we all output uh, output per unit time okay so coming to received kilobytes per second means this defines how many kilobytes per second received by the client send kb per second means this defines how many kilobytes per second are sent to the server okay this is about how to we can analyze the aggregate report we can tell based on the error percentage and the throughput we can tell the performance the minimum and maximum time time should be if almost very less or equal then it is a very good performing site here you can see it having lot of difference so the minimum is four five seven millisecond but the maximum is 10 seconds so that much of difference so the site is not capable for heavy load the percentage should be zero here it is not zero if you if the site having zero error percentage then under a heavy load condition then your site is able to perform or scalable based on the load 
the throughput also need to very high because how many requests need to handle it is very important so the very high value of throughput means you have a very good server to handle heavy load okay so analyzing this report we can report to the corresponding manager or lead based on this data we can save the data by clicking on save button here and given name and save the location you want and click on save so going to the report we can see it as a excel report we can download we can save this as a report so we can give to your manager okay then then coming to summary the data or are same what are the fields are in summer aggregate that are all are available in summary report as well so either you need to send the aggregate or summary okay so only there is a average by is there on last column so that is the average response size the average response size the average byte so we can say again we can save this by clicking on save table data and clicking on save data you can save the summary report as well so you can give to the manager or lead and for the analyzing okay so this all about the today's section hope you enjoy this section i think if you like please like and subscribe and if you any doubt please comment it over this i will reply to all and thank you for watching and happy learning